for the past several years, people throughout the state have looked at Albany. They've looked at the dysfunction, wondering what was going on. They've seen the increase in government spending and a government out of control. I'm thrilled to have been a part of the change in Albany. Uh, the new people up here, the people that had been up here, recognizing they had to do things a different way. And in cooperation with the governor, uh, I, I am very happy to be part of a government that is functioning again. We look at the budget, we had a $10 billion hole that we closed, very significant, and it was done with no bar borrowing, no new taxes, um, which is wonderful. There's a number of items for businesses, trying to make New York State open for business again. We look at the corruption that we've seen the past several years, and we passed landmark ethics legislation. And as we approach the end of the session, we look uh, out my way, of course, we deal with UB 2020, we dealt with the SUNY campuses across the state, um, good for everybody, good for students, um, good for citizens, good for the eco economic development of the various regions, and perhaps the most important thing to the taxpayers of the district that I represent, getting government spending under control, getting property taxes under control with a combination of a property tax cap and mandate relief. So I think we've had a very successful session here. I think it's been very historic. I am looking forward, though, to getting back out in the district, moving throughout the district to see what, what the citizens and the people that I represent want me to take up for them next year.